Levi here with Uphill Cinema. A little more of a raw video today as I am in my hotel room and it's the night before NAB. So kind of the lightning then the thunder type of situation as a ton of new products have been announced and a lot of uh, chatter online and in forums on what companies are gonna come out with what and who's coming out with what. And so my main thing is, and the main reason why I'm even posting this video is I'm going to be doing a lot of live streams, um, a ton. There might not be a lot in the descriptions when I post them until I get back to my room and post and uh, update the descriptions. But um, let me know in the comments, let me know on Instagram what products and companies you want to see. Um, right now, I kind of have a list and I actually have some meetings set up with different companies. Um, I have a meeting set up with uh, Lau, I have a meeting set up with D DZO. Um, you know, DZO is coming out with a whole new line of anamorphics. And so that'll be interesting. Uh, I have some stuff with Fuji, I have some stuff with Zeiss, um, Portakeys, TV Logic. Um, trying to think of other companies I actually have like set meetings with. Um, Nisi, I have one with them as well. And also, what are your guys' predictions with kind of the trends of NAB this year? Because being here compared to last year, there are a ton more companies and people than last year. So here's some of the trends that I think we're gonna see. We're gonna first see a lot more Chinese manufacturer lenses. I almost guarantee some new lens company coming out of China will be here. Um, I'm never surprised at seeing that, but the thing is, is now the Chinese lens manufacturers have kind of proven themselves to do a really good job and make fantastic lenses. So I think we're going to see more of those. We're going to see more anamorphics, guarantee that. Um, Another trend that we're gonna see is AI in software. Uh, you know, what is Blackmagic gonna do? Are they, do they have any updates with, with uh, um, DaVinci incorporating more uh, uh, AI in that? Will Blackmagic come out with another camera? Tons of people been asking online about that and wanting that. I personally don't think there will be. Um, I guess I'm kind of getting off pace there, but another trend that I think we're gonna see is I think we're not gonna see as many crazy lighting um, fixtures and companies. What I, th because we've kind of, I don't think we're at our cap, but I do think we're at our cap in the ways of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, there's only so much you can do with a light and so I think what's going to happen is we're going to see more lights um, just get better. They, we need better light quality. Uh, we need better SSI scores. Um, you know, lights have kind of um, faded out in the ways of like breakthrough technologies because, you know, they're, they're so dang good. And so we need to see things in lighting where better color rendition, easier to use, like the new Aperture Infinity Bars, I think that's what they're called. Those are incredible, and that like stuff like that where it's not a breakthrough product, but it's just a fine-tuned product. So I think we'll see that at NAB this year. I don't know, what other trends do you guys think uh, let me know in the comments. So from you guys, what I need to know is what companies you want to see. Um, leave the comment below. I, I will 95% guarantee that I can do it and we'll talk to them. Um, so let me know. And uh, like I said, I know this is a little more of a raw video, not too much production involved, just my iPhone. Um, and a little lamp and so uh, and a mirror I actually have to have a mirror to make sure I'm in focus here so uh, <laughs> uh, the mirror on the wall um, 
let me know your guys' thoughts, what you want to see, and uh, I'll try to do as many uh, live videos as I can. I have enough batteries to just kind of keep things pumping through. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. And if you see me and you're at the show, uh, say hi. Um, I always love meeting with people and talking with them, getting to know them a little better, and, uh, and trying to help and, and, and serve you guys as much as I can, even in the chaoticness of my own life. So uh, um, thanks for everything. I appreciate it. And um, talk to you later. Bye.